Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have my October Boxy Charm unboxing and first impressions for you guys. I figured I'd come on here and try out these products with you guys and give you my first impressions on everything. So if you're interested in seeing what I got in this month's Boxy Charm, please keep on watching. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, BoxyCharm is a monthly makeup subscription box. It's $21 a month with free shipping. You get between four and five full-size items every month. I believe last month they snuck in a sixth product, which is really cool. You can choose between a monthly subscription, I believe a three-month subscription, a six-month subscription, and a one-year subscription. Obviously, if you pick any of those other bulk subscription packages, you save a little bit of money. So that's something to consider. They do have a wait list. So if it's something that you're interested in joining, I will go ahead and sign up as soon as you can. They don't take any money out of your account until you've been taken off the wait list. So you don't have to worry about that. If you don't want to be on the wait list and you just want to wait, I will also keep an eye on their social media because sometimes when their wait list is lifted, they do post it and let you know that there is no current wait list going on. So that'd be the time to sign up as well. Because sometimes it can take a couple weeks to a couple months to get off the wait list. I know some people have said that they were on the wait list for two months. Some people were on the wait list for a week. I personally, when I signed up, I was on the wait list for about three weeks. So again, if it's something you're interested in, I would go ahead and sign up. I believe I have a link for you guys to use. I don't get anything off of it. It's just a referral link. So if you guys want to use that, I'll leave that down below. So without further ado, let's open up this box and see what I got this month. So this is everything I got in this month's box. We got one, two, three, four, five products this month, which is awesome. The theme is Spellbound. Every month they have a different theme for their boxes. The first thing that I see is this Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. Now I did cheat and I did pull this out ahead of time because I just can't help myself and I always look at spoilers so I knew this was coming and I knew I wouldn't be able to try this on camera with you guys. So I did want to try this ahead of time to give you guys an idea on what it is like. It is a very gentle exfoliator. It's got really fine beads inside, so it's not going to be really harsh on your skin. So if you have sensitive skin, I think this will be fine for you. It says to, all you have to do is massage it onto your face for one to two minutes and then rinse it off and pat your face dry. It does say though, even though it's a really gentle exfoliator, that you only need to use it one to two times a week with three days in between each use. So... After using this the first time, I did notice a significant smoothness in my skin, so I really like that. It wasn't harsh at all. I know some exfoliators, for me personally, can be really, really harsh on the skin and will leave my skin kind of burning sometimes. So, But this one didn't do that, so I'm excited to keep using this and seeing how well it refines the appearance of my pores. So that's the first product. And this retails for $58, so already right here. This is worth way more than the price of the subscription box by itself. The box is $21, so even if you didn't like anything else in the box and you just like that one thing, it's well worth the money. The next product is this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in Prosecco Pop. Now again, I did see this in the spoiler and I was kind of disappointed, to be honest with you, that I got this in my box. So I was really hoping to get the pressed version because I'm not a big fan of liquid highlighters but I'll still give this a shot for you guys. I've heard that you can use it in your foundation so that's what I'm going to do today and I think I might also place a little on the high points of my face where I would normally highlight. So the bottle looks like this. This is a so this is 1.7 fluid ounces and it's got a nice little pump. I think what I'm gonna do is just put one pump on my little palette right here. Ooh, that's a lot that came out. So it looks like that. I'm gonna take my Estee Lauder Double Wear in 5W1 Bronze 42. And this is a matte foundation, so I'm gonna see how luminous this makes it. So I'm gonna pump uh, my usual two pumps. Maybe. 
maybe one more. Okay. So that's three pumps in there. I'm going to take my Sigma F80 and I'm just gonna mix it all up. So, so far I'm not noticing a difference in the, or the consistency of the product, so that's good. So I'm just gonna paint this all over my face. I'm gonna use my palette as a mirror while it's in my hand. So now I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of my Hangover RX 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray to dampen it just a little bit more. I'm just gonna blend this in. So it is giving my foundation a little bit of dewiness and luminosity, which I actually kind of like right now because I am still on the drier side. So it's a good way to change up your favorite foundation. So yeah, that gave my skin a nice dewy glow. So that's pretty. Just so I don't look crazy throughout this whole the rest of this video, I'm gonna put on a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape and tan. So I'm just looking at my monitor. It looks really pretty on the skin. Um, if you have oily skin and you don't like a dewy foundation, then you might not like doing this method with it. But I think for me, like I said right now, I've been liking a little bit more of a dewy skin since my skin's been super, super dry. So I actually don't mind it a lot. I'm pleasantly surprised because like I said, I was kind of disappointed that I received this product instead of the other product. But it's really nice. Now I wanna try using it as a highlighter. I'm just gonna take a little bit more onto my palette. It's probably too much. And I'm gonna go, I'm going to take my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Just dip into that just a little bit. I'm gonna place it where I would normally place my highlighter. So again, I'm gonna go in my Beauty Blender. Ooh and blend that out. It is pretty for a really, for like a base, if you like to use cream highlighters or use it as a base under your powder highlighter, it'd be really pretty for that too. So I'm pleasantly surprised about this product. Now this retailed for $41. So just between these two products, you're at $99. So that is super awesome so far. And we still have three more products left to go. So the next product I have is a Dirty Little Secret Eyeshadow Crayon in Illusion. Now I'm kind of worried about this product because I typically don't like eyeshadow crayons. Um, since I have such hooded eyes, any crayon creases on me even when I set it. But this does scroll up, which is nice, and you get a good amount of product. It doesn't say how much product you get in here, but that's a pretty good amount. But I am going to try on my eyes just to see if it does crease. I think this would also be really good as a highlighter, like as another version of a cream highlighter. would be really pretty. Just put it where you would normally put your highlight. So why not? Let's just go ahead and try it. And just tap it out or use your beauty blender. I have so much highlight on I don't know if it's <laughs> showing up or not. So let's try this on the lid. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it since I have lashes on. But it's a nice champagne -y color. It does go on pretty smoothly. It is super creamy, so I am worried about that. Um, not cool. Alright, so be very careful with it because it does break really easily since it is such a soft, creamy product. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm just going to take my beauty blender again and blend that out. I mean, it's really pretty for like a, a quick, everyday look when you don't want to do too much, but you want to have a little something. It is really pretty. But just touching it with my finger and now it is super creamy so i don't 
know if it's going to stay. I bet it's probably going to crease. But let's let it sit on my eye for the rest of the video. And before we end this, I will go back to it and see how well it's doing. And this retails for $5. So the next product I have is this Jante Blue, Jante Blue lip liner in rich red. It looks like this. So this is a pretty red. I don't know, I would call it a rich red, but it's a pretty red, so let's see. I'm gonna line my lips with it because there is one more lip product in here, so we'll try them out together. If I can line my lips the right way. So not a bad lip liner. Again, I've ha I have nicer red liners that I like to use, but this isn't bad. Just probably not gonna be one of my favorites. Okay, so the last product I have is this TARDIS lip paint in XOXO. And it looks like this, it's super pretty, perfect for the holidays. So this is a really pretty color. This is what it looks like. So that's super pretty. More of a berry red rather than a deep true red, which I, I gravitate more towards the blue reds rather than the berry pinky orangey reds. So let's see how it looks. It's pretty. So it's a pretty red color. I would, for me, I'd probably wear it during the holidays, but for me, I would probably wear this more during the spring summertime. Because it's more of that bright red color as opposed to a darker red color. But it's still really pretty. It's already drying down. It says on here, it's a full coverage transfer proof liquid lipstick with a quick dry matte finish. So it is drying pretty quickly. I think it's actually completely dry now so let's see if it actually is transfer proof and it is the only lines I have on my hand I don't even know if you can see it is from the lip liner so that's really awesome it feels really comfortable on the lips even though it is a liquid lipstick so I like that a lot it's not accentuating my um my dry lips maybe a little bit on the top but not too bad like some other liquid lips can do yeah I like it so that's a really pretty color. So this was, this retails for $20 and the lip liner retails for $5. So let's see, let's check on these eyes. They're not, so they don't seem to be creasing yet, which is nice. If I do decide to continue using it, I would probably use it as a shadow base and not by itself because it does say on the little card that it can be used alone or as an eyeshadow base but for me and living here in Florida where it's humid all the time I would probably want to set it at least with a similar color but I'm actually pretty impressed that it's not creasing on my lids yet granted it hasn't been a whole lot of a time it hasn't been that long so it might still crease on me, but so far, so good. And it is a pretty color. So the total for this box altogether is $138, which is amazing considering I only paid $21 plus tax for it. So I'm super happy with it. This is my third month getting BoxyCharm, and I've been happy with it every month I've had it. So again, if you're interested in signing up, I'll leave the link down below. And yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button down below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.